can't believe what they're making me do today. It's kind of Welcome back to New Soccer Wars. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. I didn't even catch that murmur of disdain. Here we have one of the few chances we have to make Margareth a friend of ours. Okay. Do we, like, buy her a cake or something, or...? Nope. She is, of course, wanting a cake because every woman in this game is obsessed with cakes and sweets, somehow. Well, have you ever had cake? It's fucking awesome! Oh, it is fucking awesome, and that cake does look fucking awesome, oh but... My God. Our trust event comes in how we approach her. Really? Oh, God. Is it, is it like, middle of the road? <laughs> Hello, Margareth. Hello! A pleasure to meet you in my Hawaiian shirt. It's like, wow, do you like cake, huh? What What's your favorite flavor? Do you like the chocolate ones, or like the carrot cake, or like the coffee cakes, or do you more like like the, the, the smaller ones, like the eclairs, or I don't know, what do you like? What do you like? But no, she's like, uh, don't be so foolish with all that. I'm not gonna give myself any depth. Uh... I once believed that he's a manager of business, but goodness, when fool I was. Oh my I god, that's a wall of text. Every moment you let go, it's again flooding again. Give me again. Tell me about your fans support the theater, buying a merchandise, getting the strict perseverance. It's stressful, yes, but it's even more rewarding to see my customers leave wearing such big smiles. Good! You, you do your job well. You know, I'm kind of glad that our phones don't have the topic function, where, you, you know, you have to type in a topic and then send the message, because Claris chose a very poor title for it to be cut off. Peanuts. <laughs> Green Geans, I'd like you to dress as Peanut and do a bit of theater promotion as I'm sure you were... Uh, more Peanuts. Ah, okay. The okay. joke that wasn't the funny the first time, we'll do it another 200 times. Okay. Uh, hello, Hakushu. Just standing around doing nothing? Cool. Well, Hatsu's not around here. But that's all we have left to do, so... The, we have to do the peanut platform then. We're seriously. Yeah. Uh... Hey, this is our job, man. This is what we gotta do. How you doing, sir? Like we are uh, such wait. an oaf. I heard Hatsuho scream. Uh. All right. Well. uh... We got some interaction here. Let's look at the department store. Where did she go? And then we turn. <laughs> oh my god! But I don't see her. Oh god! Did anybody see you transform into that peanut costume? I don't think they noticed because I'm such a forgettable oaf. Yeah, seriously. Like, if a guy just cafe. turned into a giant elephant mascot, I'd be like, oh, hey, guys, are, are we noticing the elephant man? Oh God, just do it. Oh, oh God. Oh, look, oh, it's hey. Hakushu. Hey, still don't see Hatsuho. I look up, I guess? Uh, let's look at the plaza, then. Oh, place we haven't looked yet. Uh, and then we turn... Uh, there! So oh, that woman is just not here, then. Well, let's advertise the theater. Hey, come on, come all! Come on down to the theater! He doesn't say, like, what kind of show they're doing. Just, come on down to the Imperial Theater! We'd like to see you there! Hey, we're poor. Doc! Go! I love how it's labeled Little Urchin. That's perfect. PETA will see you in your dreams! Bow! Did you know PETA is still trying to be hip with the kids? Keyword, trying. Oh, and it, it fails miserably every single time. Like, what was the last thing PETA tweeted that got people, like, making fun of them hardcore? 
Oh, who cares? Everything they do, people make fun of them hardcore. I know, but... Uh, well... What the fuck is this? Alright, we gotta look at the department store. And then we pull the lever, and then we take... Yeah, yeah. Ditch Urban Outfitters shop these brands instead. Plant-powered pregnancy. What? What?! <laughs> what are you bringing onto my episode, man? I'm sorry! But you, oh man, I shouldn't have said that out loud because my search function is going to be all messed up on my phone. Let me know when you start getting ads, ads for uh, prenatal vitamins. <laughs> it was like being vegan and it was like a nude shot. I was like, what? They've been doing great shows lately. It's a shame we haven't seen any of them. Yeah, like what? Oh, there she goes. Oh, there she goes. Now, I thought this was an alternate scene. I totally forgot that we had alternate costumes on. I thought this was like her normal outfit. Like, out on the town kind of outfit. Kind of seems like they're changing clothes, though, huh? Kind of adds to the realism a little bit, doesn't it? Like, I don't understand... I mean, from a... Development standpoint, I understand why characters don't have alternate outfits. Because that adds so much extra to the development. It's a lot of work, yeah. Alright, we gotta go find Hatsuho. The hell'd she go? She's going to the bus stop, alright. Just knocking people out of the way. Gotta get to the bus! <laughs> Let me throw me through! This is my girl we're talking about! Well, not here either. Let's oh. try looking around and... Aha! Hmm. Hiromi's not here. Hot... Hot... Suo... Cider. Cider. Wow. Wow, I have no idea what this is or what she needs it for, so I'll just drink it anyway, gulp. <laughs> and I'll pay for what I think might be enough for it. Could be ten thousand dollars for all oh, I know. Oh hey, that's my cleaning solution. Please don't drink it. <coughs> <laughs> oh my god! So hallucinogenic drug, so that everybody we see is hot so hell. Dude. So I try to go for another girl Whoa. besides Sakura. And what does the game do? It makes fun of me for it. It's like, it's like, whoa, well, you want everybody to be hot so hot then? We have Sakura for you, but why can't you just hear? I don't know. Maybe that hallucinogen is just like, it makes you focus on the last person you thought about. Oh, that would be amazing. Why would you make something like this? Whoa. I like the filter, though. It's yeah, kinda cool. this is kind of cool. I thought we were, like, in an alternate dimension or something. Like, everybody sounds like Hatsuho, looks like her. Oh, man. So we gotta go around and talk to every Hatsuho and have a wait a minute, you're not Hatsuho moment. But however... I think we got points with this girl here. Uh, sure, I guess. My name's Ayumi, but you can call me Hatsuho if you want. <laughs> you can call me your new girlfriend if you want. Uh, how about the one that's just walking by a million times? You think if Kamiyama bought a prostitute that the flower review would care? At this point? The only one who would care is Sakura. Yeah. Wait, she doesn't look like Hatsuho. I mean, think about it. Hatsuho would be kind of cool with it. He'd probably slap me on the back saying, All right, way to go! You know, Clarice would probably blush, but she'd probably write something about it. Anastasia would probably, you know, you know, swoon at the romance of it all, the hot, intense passion of one <laughs> night. Azami would probably spout some village rule about how it's okay. And Sakura would be like, What's wrong with you guys? Don't you realize how sick and cruel and immature this is? It's a monster! It's a monster! I hate you all! And she'd run away. Oh my god, you got me thinking of Clarice just writing, like, I fell in love with a hooker. And then it just but, but, goes on from there. 
But I called it right there, didn't I? That's all of their personalities, just, just summed up for you. I had your cider, and it was pretty g good. Ugh. Why? Why would you do that? There's no point! Why are you making hallucinogens in your spare time? You, you could have just said, Oh yes, it's from some ancient Vietnamese herbs that, uh, that uh, were delivered to me today. They're supposed to, be, it's, it's supposed to be some sort of love potion to make everybody around you look like the person you admire most. But no, it's just like, everybody looks like Hatsu because reasons. See, this had an amazing setup. You could do so much with this, it'd be hilarious. But it doesn't exactly work. And I think that's because of the 3D models. I hate the fact that they talk about Manju so many times, but they I have not seen a single Manju that we've interacted with. A detox Manju. Well, I mean, that kind of makes sense. I made a cocktail at work one time that was called the Hangover Cure. It's just a glass of water with maybe an Alka-Seltzer. Actually, I had to pull some, like, some science shit, and I mixed, like, so many juices that it tastes like grapefruit juice, and it didn't have a single drop of it in there. Do you mix all your drinks differently now? Like, you know, it's, uh, it's like midnight, and you, you want to get some chocolate milk, so you go downstairs, you get the milk, you get the chocolate syrup, and you get, like, a shot glass, you put the, yeah. put the ice cubes in there, pour the milk with the shot glass, and you get, like, a shaker, and you just... <laughs> Chocolate milk. You put like a little Oreo cookie on the edge as a garnish, and then a straw, and then, there, there you go. Like, oh, even boy. I I pour orange juice differently, for God's sake. <laughs> Although that would be good with like some good Daifu liqueur added. Oh, hell yeah. That stuff's great. Well, it turns out Hatsuho is dealing with uh, that outburst just fine. She just came over to, to Hiromi's. Cry it out, eat some sweets, and now she's feeling better. It's like, all right, you know, whatever. Sakura is Sakura, fuck her. That's exactly what you need to do. That's if healthy. Yeah, if but you're having a huff, just make do things that make you feel good. But to be honest, I was worried. No, that's not what I mean! Lost the, <laughs> like, uh, oh, whatever, she liked it. I don't mean like... A, a ramp? No, I meant like I'm worried about you. Like, are you okay? Do you want to talk? Or do, but apparently, all right. So cool. Oh, that's a bitch and earring, girlfriend. All right, but if you still want to talk, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know, just figure it'd be nice to be healthier than what fucking soccer is doing. But hey, you know, hey, you take on a lot too, man. <laughs> Do you remember the first it's not big just fucking Sakura? Do you remember the first big plot twist in Doki Doki Literature Club? Which one? <laughs> you know that one that kind of kickstarts the whole thing. Oh, you mean the 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 the, 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 the thing? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Op you open the door and then. Uh -huh. you, uh, I, I, I kinda, oh yeah. I kind of right, get okay. a feeling if we had bad endings in this one, <laughs> that's probably what we would end up with. Oh, I would change my tune if we had bad endings, <laughs> like just a sudden lurching tone, which does happen, mind. Oh, really? Uh, I mean, it doesn't happen here, but it, it can happen in games. Oh, I've in, got a, in games, yeah. I've got a real bad one that takes a real bad twist. It's so dumb. In this game or in other games you've played? Other games I've played, no, no. Okay, I, I'm starting to think, like, okay, if he's talking about this game, then I have something to look forward to. If he's talking about, like, I don't know, Robotics Notes, Steins Gate, anything in the semicolon series, I don't know. Now, now, this is, uh, the path for this isn't, you know, that, you know, lurchy. It's just a constant slope down with growing steepness. Do you know what I miss? Gag endings. Gag endings, yeah. Like the dog ending in Silent Hill. Just bring back the funny. Holy shit, well, that was the end of a thing? That was an intermission, certainly. So, uh, let's check what our team status is. Okay. Sucker oh. is down to the third. Oh, oh, so is Anastasia. Claris is still kind of behind us, but we've got... Wow. Elise, Lancelot, and Arthur added to the stage now. Oh, great, we're friends. That's nice, I guess. Hey, wait a minute. How did Sakura get down here? 
Like, we didn't have any points with her. Yeah. Huh. Oh well. Anyway. <sighs> let's, uh, just keep going. So, it's a brand new day, and to cheer Sakura up, we're gonna send her away on vacation. To a mental hospital. Goodbye! To her childhood home. Okay, I gotta admit, Claris looks really good in that outfit. Yeah, she does. Like, uh, she basically almost looks like Diana. Oh, the hair's not red. Ah, oh, it hurts. Yeah, it's gonna hurt because not only are you gonna see your favorite girl get bastardized by... So, Sakura here. Oh. This is the worst chapter for Sakura so far. Uh, uh, I, I miss my red-headed Texan. I miss my good, decent, playable game. <laughs> that had at least some decent writing, you know? What if we're all in the nut house and secretly all the Sakura Wars games are terrible? I don't know. I, like I kind of, I kind of worry that by the time we get, you know, Sega announces Soccer Wars one through four coming to Switch or whatever, we play them and they're like really stupid, terror bad, hard yeah. '90s tactics <laughs> games. It's like, oh no, oh no, it, it was all terrible. Thinking? Yeah, shit. <laughs> There's still a chance if Sega is putting this much stock into the Soccer Wars franchise in, like, between 2019 and 2021, we might actually get that collection. It's, the, it's their only hope, I mean. Like, just say fuck it, have a bunch of our team work on translating it, don't even have to voice act it. Just ship it out there, put it on a Switch cart, and we're done. Didn't stop them, you know, all these scenes that just don't have any voice acting. I mean, yeah, just go old school Fire Emblem. Just translate the dialogue and ship it out. So, the point of this uh, little vacation for Sakura is to go home, kind of meditate a little bit, figure out her roots, and get back in the action. And this is, uh, this is Hatsuho's chapter? This is supposed to be Hatsuho's chapter, yes. Okay. So it's been, it's been ten years since we last showed up here. So this is going to bring back terrible memories, isn't it? Because she, the only thing she's going to think about is her person she looks up to. So her dad's a swordsmith. And there he is. Nope. Sup, Dad? Dude, Excuse dad with me. the beard win. Have you seen the 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 screening lot for Boruto yet? <laughs> I'm trying to find my way back. I've got a scene in 25 minutes. I... You look pretty terrible, Seijiro. What's with that terrible shirt? Well, hey, also, I'm just visiting with Sakura. Also, hi, my name is Tekken. She wanted to say, I'm here to marry her. That's what she wants. <sighs> Pay attention, Sakura. Slaps her in the back of the head. This is another point where the game is going to try super duper hard to get us to like Sakura even more. Otherwise, their whole story falls apart. Oh no, her mother's dead. Mom died, oh no. She died in the Tokyo Demon War. Wow. What's with all the moms dying? Well, uh, the fake reason is because it's a cheap cliché that doesn't take a lot of thought if you want to insert some drama into a character's backstory. But uh, the real reason is because it feeds the Sarlacc that lies at the bottom of the ocean. Oh. Yeah, 
fucked. Oh my god, who cares if she thinks that to her best, your fucking idol is a traitor? Who cares? I figured it would motivate her to try and best her so that way she won't turn evil like she did, you know? I'm just wondering why Tekken isn't out there putting himself back on the market. I mean, look at this dude. Oh, he could get any girl he wanted. With a beard like that? Shit. You know, if Tekken and Sakura had kind of like the the Homer Bart Simpson kind of relationship, in order to get her back on her feet, it's just like, why you little, <laughs> <laughs> or he just gives bad advice. <laughs> Sakura, life is like a donut. If Sometimes your dream, you <laughs> if your dream is over, then just give up. A perfect bit of advice. So, hey, Saki. Not even fucking looking at me, huh? Well, I'll give her some nah. space. Oh, my God. Speaking of the Simpsons, can we go into Sakura's home, like, inside her family bedroom, and see a sign on her wall that says, Do it for her, with pictures of Sakura Shinguji all over the place? <laughs> oh, that's going to be tough to break, you know. It's, uh, well... Mm, mm, well, no. fine. I'll have to take the initiative. Just kick her in the face. So you notice how her hands are kind of hovering above her knees? Yeah. That's because she's normally wearing her fucking kimono. <gasps> oh, that's right. So, the, her hands are locked to her fabric, not her actual legs. Oh, same with that strand of hair. Uh -huh. That's supposed to be on her. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, no. I mean, it's not that noticeable, only if you're nitpicking, but it's still kind of funny. Wow, what a scene. After five weeks of rigorous training... Alright, well, if they're gonna uh, do a scene like yeah, this, I'll just, uh, know, check, just check on Twitter real quick. I'm, I'm just, just what's going fucking... On? Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was uh, clearing the space on, on, my, on my phone because I was running out of internal memory. Let's see... Oh, uh, there's a... Uh, hey, did you, did you know there's a Nintendo Direct tomorrow? No, oh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I heard about that. It's probably gonna be long before, you know, this comes out, but... I know. You know. <laughs> Thanks for dating that, and... Okay. <laughs> Anything for you, buddy. Uh, so she was my idol. I loved everything about it. That's, that's been my whole character. I think by the end of this, you're going to give yourself an aneurysm. I don't know, I might already have one. It's either that or a lobotomy. Maybe I'll come full circle and actually like her. No, you won't. Holy shit, why? Marvel's Avengers is coming to PS5 and Xbox Series X. Why? Well, they gotta get as much money as they it's can, a, so... It's a dead game! Stop! Well, maybe, the, maybe the few people that got PS5s will... You know, play it. They almost had a kiss scene. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow, is that all it takes? Sakura, can I borrow your gun so I can shoot myself? So now we're gonna make a bath. Perfect. For her uh, dad? No. Alright, we got a bathhouse out here. Heat up the baths. So that way the water's nice and hot so you can bathe in there. Alright, seems to be ready. <sighs> it's for her! Hey, she's taking a bath. You know what that means. We have a chance to peep on her. Oh, goody. Can't wait for that PG-13-esque peep show. 
That was the hardest tea I've ever teed. No peeping! God damn it! I said no peeping! See, I've never understood that. There's always the promise of nudity, but it's rated T. No nobody ever makes that connection that they can't do anything when it's a T rating. Because whenever like you walk in, uh, there's like white steam everywhere, just like this. But the bloom is oh. so high, it overtakes everything. She's going supernova, and that was a glitch! That had to have been a glitch! He so, shot up from the ground. You can't do that. Together? Just randomly start throwing more wood on the fire. <laughs> burn! 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 Heat, heat that fucker up. Oh, that's my bathtub. Oh, the the barrel. <laughs> it is the barrel. Yes. Yeah. So you could. Good lord, she is a supernova. Yeah. So bright. She's just a floating head. <laughs> I don't even think they rendered a body down there. Well, they they did for at least the top-down shot, so it might be, you know, torso up. Well, I don't no want to fucking look at your stupid. You know what would be an interesting tactic if you really wanted to do that peep show? Pretend you fell over. That way she comes running, asking if we're okay. And that's when you German suplex her. <laughs> <laughs> and your towel stays on the entire time. And then that's when you get the bathhouse to yourself. So, bathhouses are very common. Or at least hot springs is what I'm thinking of. Bathhouses too. I mean, this is like, you know, traditional. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so Twin Capitals. We're talking about... The mission that got everybody killed. Is it a failure? I'd call it a success. I mean, they went out to protect Tokyo. They went out there. They probably gave their lives, let's be honest, until we see them again. So, because of them, Tokyo is safe. So, mission accomplished. But it still has demons. Oh my god, I can't even read the subtitles. But nobody came back after that. Uh. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm still believing that maybe the writers will bring them back. Let's ho let's hope so. We still gotta we, we gotta count on that maybe. You know, there is one gag that always makes me like smile in anime is convenient censorship that is fully self aware of what it's doing. Sorry, that bamboo shoot just reminded me of that. Well, maybe there was no other option but to do that. You know. They wouldn't do that as, like, their first option. That'd be stupid. How do we save Japan? Uh, let's kill ourselves. Deal. You always suggest that. I just really like dying! Oh my god. <laughs> I can't see. So what, you think the government fucked over the entire combat reviews? What? How would that happen? Alright, you might be onto something. Hmm. So Yaksha might be after the president because he's the one who doomed all the combat reviews. That makes sense. That means that your hero is still good at heart even if she has to become a terrorist. It's just an alignment change. It's not that bad. She's still good. But wait, this revelation makes her faint! Oh no! We did put too much wood on the fire. And now she's bedridden. <laughs> I just thought she passed out due to the heat. Let go of her fucking hand, dude! What are you doing? Why? When did we get to this stage already? I thought 
thought this was Hatsuho's chapter! He never did this in, Iz in Azami's chapter! <laughs> What is, what is this? Oh my god, I have never seen you so desperate for something to go your way. I'll, ta I'll and take a, a photo and an of you. a dating sim. Yeah, oh take, my god. I'll take a fucking photo. Yeah, I check it. I love this so much. Ha! Got a photo. Got it. Snapshot in time. We did it. No! <laughs> Oh my god, sleep is contagious! <laughs> Alright, so, I'm feeling kinda sleepy, so we'll go ahead and pull up a futon, you know, probably next to her, make sure she doesn't do anything bad in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. we'll go to go to sleep, and... <sighs> She's talking about her mom. Okay. Uh, let go of my hand, and let me go get the other futon, so I can get go to sleep. Well, you know, we had the idea in the last episode, why not just take a pillow, and then you just slowly but firmly just... just just right over the face. You have a really cramped living room, Tekken, if you're doing this in the same room where she's sleeping. I got a better idea. Let's just hold her hand and fall asleep right there. Sounds great. God. Ugh. Oh my god. Why are you having this flashback? Is this scene's actually kind of cute. I'll be catching all of us protect you, and because we promised when we were children, and the bonds we made as children hold strong as we turn into adults with matured thought processes. Okay, without the flashback, that would actually be kind of cute. I'm okay with that one. So dumb. Oh, we have a narrator now. <laughs> now. We got two days before we got to face off against London. All right. Let's... So hurry up and get your existential crisis over with. Yeah, we, you know, chop, chop. We got to get going here. <laughs> it's like asking a trauma victim, you know, hey, get over it. Which is terrible. Don't do that. Never do that. Now. You hear that? She's calling me Say now, not Captain, not Seijiro. It's like, oh, no, no, no. Call me Captain. About last night, let's not talk about it anymore. Let's talk about it lots. What are the neighbors gonna say? You have neighbors? You have, really? Where? But hold on, hold on, let me look. Oh, Wait, I found else. one! There's one over there! Oh, okay. Uh, how far away? About one mile? He's up in the tree! Uh, oh. What are you doing up there? That one's hiding in the sewer! What are you doing down there? Just five fingers. <laughs> If I keep saying I didn't hold her hand, maybe it won't happen. The memories of holding her hand just fade from your memory forever. Say, Nissan, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, this game is now perfect for you. Uh, yay. Finally, I'm not the one bringing you the tropey anime game. Okay, so here, here's a question. Yeah. Would you still have the same feelings you do if these characters were written better? No. Because my problem is that these characters aren't written good. If they were written good, I would like them. Well, I'm just thinking of, like, if it still had the angle where you're only focusing on one girl, would you still, you know kind of hate her. Well, if, if, they had, if they had to be better written, then we'd have to spend less time on her, or at least more time on the others, which is also what I want. So, yeah, I would feel different. Okay. The fact is that we're, de we're dedicating all the time for character development solely to Sakura. 
What do, what, what, do, what do we know about Sakura? We know fucking everything. We know where she lives now. We know what her dad looks like. We know what she likes. We know what her dreams are. We know what we know what happens when she's upset. We know what she likes to do. We know everybody likes her. We know what her strengths are. What do we know about Izami? She's a ninja and she likes mochi. And she was abandoned, I think, a long time ago. That was it. What do we know about Hatsuho? She's a shrine maiden and her parents wanted to come home. What do we know about Clarus? Books. Books, books, books. <laughs> What about Anastasia? Well, she came from South America as the as the best actress who acts in the things that you act in. She's an acty actor. I'd say that's pretty good. What was that about thirty five percent character development for all of them combined? And then the rest goes to Sakura. <laughs> I'm riding these Sakura stocks straight to the bank. Five hundred shares of Sakura. Everybody else gets shortchanged. Come on, Reddit, <laughs> bring them back up. <laughs> Let's take down those corporate fat cats over at Sakura Incorporated, aka Sega. Let me guess. Director's daughter's name is Sakura. I don't know, man. I, I'm thinking like maybe the, you know somebody else worked on the game, but the the director who's been here since the first, who's tried to come to Sega to, in the past and say bring back Soccer Wars, and they said no, is working on this game. But they got like everybody else knew. There was like about two or three series veterans who worked on the other ones. Everybody else, nobody has worked on a Soccer Wars game ever. That's interesting. So we got like some certain like like a bare bones skeleton of what a Soccer Wars game should be on top of what they think every other generic anime game should be or what Sega told them to do. So I found some information on the man who worked on the movie adaptation. Yeah. But that's it. Seriously, not even the TV anime? So this is the place where, yeah, at the very start of the game, where a demon came and clawed that tree, and Sakura Shinguji saved her. You, 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 you do well to remember this because we're having a voiced cutscene. We're and, and they got choreography, and it's a big, it's a big important scene. You need to remember this, dude. In case, in case you didn't know, Sakura looks up to Sakura quite a lot. Oh, and, really? And then, oh, you made me a promise. Here we go. I promised to duel you, right? That's a promise? <laughs> of course not. To the death. She's talking about the promise I made as a child who didn't know fucking any better that I was going to marry her. And she held on to that dream tightly. Oh, awesome. So if I want to go with another girl, I would be destroying her broken dream. And that's hey, okay with me. Oop, that's spoilers. Oops. Okay. I mean, Sorry, it's, I it's, it's, it's obvious. We've had like three chances where we could say, oh, I want to marry your daughter. I want to marry Sakura. I came here to marry Sakura. I'm here to force you to give your daughter away. Is that okay with you, Chief? Can I buy your daughter? Uh, I've got uh, <laughs> 68 cents. Uh, deal. Oh, and a Tootsie Roll. Here you go. Uh, you just sweeten the deal, my boy. All right, here you go. She's all yours. So, hey, come back to the Flower Division. You have people here who need you. Don't war don't focus so much on be what? No, I'm s but using you. <laughs> Holy shit! Only good to me as long as you can fight for me. <laughs> And after that, we get tossed aside. How do you miss that so dramatically? Sometimes we don't have a choice. 
That's just how war is. You are a soldier. You don't like it? Quit. Sakura was a soldier too. And she would have she would have put her life on the line any given chance. This is not kid stuff. It's not like, you know, being a fun, fun, happy, dappy celebrity. You gotta make some real grown-up decisions here. You're not being an adult. But you don't care! Uh, I'm upset! That doesn't matter! I wanna have my own unrealistic dreams! And she hates me! Have you ever seen Into the Woods, the play, or no. the uh, musical? No. So, that story is based on what happens after Happily Ever After. Oh, dear. And, y you know, and it goes uh, through some uh, grim fairy tales, but I kind of want a, you know, what happens after Happily Ever After for this game. I'm very curious. So Sakura just totally denounced us to the world. Well, that's fine. Only her neighbor in the tree and in the sewer heard it. I hear you have 68 cents and a Tootsie Roll for me. Sorry, the price has been increased. I'm gonna need some Hubba Bubble in that, too. Are you talking about Hubba Bubba Bubble Tape? Yeah. Still got two feet left, big guy. I, uh, yes, sir. I will get that for you, sir. Blah. Wow, and we left her there, okay. Yep, we left her there. You know, hey, it's clear to me that she realized that she was a soldier, doesn't want to be a soldier anymore, so fine. Fuck off. Bye. Uh, I can't wait for her to show up at the last second and help us beat the British Review. But now, because one of- even though we only need three people, one of the five people in our team isn't going to be here now, so the question is, what will we do? Can we still win? Are you kidding me? Yaksha attacked again. Oh, cool. Oh, she attacked the Imperial. Wow, I wish you were here to do that. But instead, we gotta have our fucking bath scene with Sakura. Aren't you glad we did that instead of doing anything fun? Absolutely. Just had to be what I was going to. It feels like we just went through an entire cut corner! Come back and there's corpses all over the lawn. Just billows of smoke everywhere. Oh wait, we're Imperial. Yep. Right? Hatsuho, what happened? No, you didn't! There were injuries! You, you did not keep everybody safe. People were harmed because you did not help. This happened off screen. Yeah, this happened off screen. This happened while we were trying to help Sakura feel better, and you know, a lot of good that did. She is in no mood to feel better. Well, hey, how could it have taken down Yaksha? You know it. Yeah! <laughs> Why would you do that? Because we gotta have this moment. Look, at least this part is with Hatsuho. I'm okay with that. Give me something. I just feel better whenever I talk to her. It's like, wow, I was feeling really bad and then you just made it all better. Thanks, Hatsuho. That's now, when you know it's love. How is Sakura gonna take that away from me now? So you fought with Sakura, huh? Well, I guess you're just not man enough to handle this combat review. <laughs> Well, we got a new stage. You know, it's not it's not perfect, but it'll get the job done, which is about all we can hope for. You know, all this stuff happens off screen anyway, so you know maybe it was in shambles and now it's you know in ship shape working order. I don't I don't know. We'll find out when we get there, I guess. It still has a couple boards missing. There's a few uh, like upside down nails in there. You know, everything's misaligned, so it rattles whenever you jump on it. I feel like we'll come back after the Christmas show and it will look exactly the same as we left it. Like it never even happened. Like we, they just blocked it off screen. 
They just uh, kept kept us from getting in so we couldn't see. That's insane! Well, Hatsuhi here has more of a better idea about what her what her role is. She's more of a soldier, but you know, you're all we're also like icons for the country. People look up to us. We're a source of morale, so that way the country can never falter even after a devastating attack. That's what everything's about. We're more than soldiers. But Sakura just sees herself as a pawn. Well, that's on her, really. Sorry. But yeah, Sakura's still feeling crappy. But I got into a fight. She didn't want to help, and uh, she sees herself as a pawn as a number, and now Hatsuho's mad at me. Oh, hey, I was right. <laughs> Call it. No, you saw her. She's impossible to talk to. She's uh, she's awful. And now she hates us. All right, All right, great. Well, she didn't say she hates us. She's just disappointed in us, which really that hurts way more. Uh. Mm hmm. What? Yes, boss. Oh god. Man. Well. Uh. All right. I need like five minutes to breathe from all that shit that happened. So. We'll just see you next time on Let's Play Soccer Wars so we can try and untangle this ridiculous plot that we've written ourselves into. Jesus Christ.